how should the Biden administration be responding to this huge surge? Well, I think they're doing things right thus far. Look, we have pent up demand. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for the end of COVID. And then you have smugglers telling them false narratives about the Biden administration. Uh, but these are minor children. We have to keep that in mind. And the challenge is not that we can't deal with the flow of people across the border. The Border Patrol can handle far, far more people you know, they can apprehend millions of individuals. The problem is what we're seeing is an uptick of unaccompanied minor children, children with no parents. They present a lot of special needs and pull on a lot of resources that, frankly, are not as well financed as they need to be to handle this uh, flow. They, that, this is something they knew was coming. There is no way you couldn't know this was coming. They were put in disgusting camps on the other side of the border and told to wait until the waiting was over. The wait's over and we don't have enough places for them. How is that possible? Well, Sheriff, I think a lot of it goes back to budgeting, right? This is not something that you can just do quick, quickly fix. It boils down to resources. Frankly, I would say that this has been a U.S. government failing over the last 10 years. The threat at the border has changed over the last, really, the last, since 2014. We've seen a massive uptick in families, parents with children, a big uptick in unaccompanied minor children, a big uptick in Central American asylum seekers. We continue to fund a border security apparatus that was designed to face largely Mexican national adult males coming across the border. And so, look, I think that we want to look at where to blame. I'd say the entirety of U.S. government has failed to resource those elements that deal with these like unaccompanied minor children, the Health and Human Services core that places them in foster care facilities. That's where the shortcoming has been. We know what the problem is. Large parts of Central America are right now a complete disaster. And many of these people don't have a safe place to live. But to suggest that this is some sort of political oppression, because that's what asylum is for, is that disingenuous? Well, listen, I'll leave the individual asylum claims to the immigration judges who have to, to kind of sort those out. I think the bigger problem that we face in this country, Shep, is that we have failed to f budget the immigration courts to process those cases quickly. I think most Americans wouldn't have a concern about a large number of people coming here, applying for asylum, and having a neutral immigration judge evaluate the facts and make a decision as to whether or not they're eligible. The problem we face is the amount of time it takes for the judges to conduct those hearings. And we only have about 400 immigration judges facing over a million of these claims today. We have got to. We have to surge resources, surge the rule of law into the border so that we can handle those asylum claims and so we can place these children not in camps but in foster facilities as quickly as possible. You say people wouldn't mind. That's not true among millions and millions and millions of Americans who have been convinced or have convinced themselves that the place that has always been the, the location for immigrants should no longer welcome them. We know this is there. We got to change hearts and minds, don't we? Well, there's always going to be a certain element of the United States who, who has, fears immigration, for sure. But the bottom line is this. As long as we are the United States, as long as we can provide a safe place and economic opportunity, you know, as long as we're the country that we all aspire to be, there are going to be people who want to leave, especially Central America, where conditions could not be worse. We live in daily fear you know, of violence, where there's no economic opportunity. It's a cost of being the United States, um, but it's one that we can handle. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.